Hey you guys, it is Freckleface Doodles here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get rid of a background in CorelDRAW X8 using the Cutout Lab. Now you're going to click Edit Bitmaps and then you're going to click Image and then Cutout Lab. Now on the right hand side you'll see the nib size and you'll see that I'm making it bigger than what it was beforehand. Um, you'll see on the left hand side of the picture I drew a little scribble with it and then I'm going to take my eraser tool and show you that you can er easily erase it. Now I'm just making the nib size even bigger and then above it you'll see that I'm playing with the controls so the magnifying glass with the plus is obviously the zoom and then the one with the minus sign is you can zoom out and then the other magnifying glasses are just to put the picture at the original size again You can also change the colors, the color settings of your um, highlighter and your fill-in bucket tool. So here I made some scribbles and then I'm changing the colors. And then I'm going to go in with the bucket tool and I'm going to fill it in. And then when you hit the preview button, it shows what you wanted to keep. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cancel to get my original picture back. I'm going to change my color settings to what I prefer. And then I'm going to take my highlighter tool and what I'm simply going to do is highlight around myself. Because remember, I want to simply get rid of the background. So now what I'm doing is I'm simply taking my eraser tool and I'm fixing up the areas where I thought I went a little bit over with the highlighter tool. Then I clicked on my paint bucket and I filled it in. And then once you click preview, it shows you what it looks like without the background. The Cutout Lab also gives you the option where if you want to see your picture with the highlighter tool or the bucket tool filled in, you could still do that. And it also gives a cool option where you can click if you want a grayscale background, a black one, um, a matte one. On the side, it also explains the other options for when you want to save it, um, where you can have your image the same and then another image, or you can just have the image cut out so it's already cut out and you don't have another copy, or you can have the image as a mask. And I saved it and I clicked OK. And then I'm going to save it again. And then once you exit out, it'll be right back into CorelDRAW. Now, there are some things that I will say aren't as perfect as if you would use Adobe and you got rid of the background. As you can see, there's a little bit of, I don't know what to call it, like edges that shouldn't be there, rough edges. So I just simply take the eraser tool and I just um, clean it up a little bit. And then this is the final product of using the Cutout Lab. And then I'm just going to put a yellow square behind my photo to finalize and show you the full results of what it looks like without a background. Alright guys, <laughs> that concludes today's video. If you like this video, please give it a huge big thumbs up. Also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to stay updated on my videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.